Hello, everybody, and welcome to this week's Avian Specialty Inc.'s Facebook Live event. Today, we'll discuss possible reasons why you may not be hitting consistent color Pantone matches. Other can be described as hue, saturation, and brightness. To hit the brightness, we need an underbase on a black shirt. The ink will provide the hue, but the application will provide the saturation. So it's very important to have optimized print parameters when you're printing the color over a white plate or directly to a white garment. The white provides a nice underbase. We keep the flash low. And as you can see, we get good color. The print on the right has too much pressure. So with the incorrect print parameters, you're actually lightening up your color, the saturation is back, and you're not hitting the Pantone that you wish to hit. In this case, less pressure on both the colors would provide a correct color on the left. Very important to watch your flash. If your flash is too hot between colors, you can actually lighten the color or shift a color that may have some fluorescent pigments in it. So here we are, we're flashing the white. Only as much as we need. It's nice and dry, easy to touch. We're using less pressure on the color. The less pressure you go, the more ink will go down, the better saturation you'll have. During the print run, it's a good idea to keep your palette temperatures at a minimum of 120 to 150. It gives you the ability to lower your flash units or shorten the time they're being flashed. And make sure you're curing at the recommended temperature for the ink you're using. Even if you do everything right and it still seems a little bit off, it's a good idea to double check your print parameters before you move on. But don't rule out other possibilities like incorrect Pantone books. As you can see here, Here's two Pantone books where the colors are definitely different. You'll have to get your customer to look and pick a color if this is the case. Here's a very drastic example of a two books that do not match. So you have to get a expectation from your customer to what color they want exactly. A color chip book is a really good idea to get an actual chip out of the book and use it. Common practice asks for a light box to be used so you can view the color under correct light. We as ink manufacturers have to choose a specific light to hit all our standards. In our case, we use D65. As you can see, when we change light sources in the light box to UV and to commercial lighting, you can see a slight shift. This has to be communicated to your customer that we do use D65. A lot of people call it daylight so that they can see what color we're going to hit. Some colors are more metameric than others. Here's a metameric page out of your Pantone book. You'll find it in the back. And here I'm changing different light sources and you can see slight shifts. Here's a very definite one. So if you or your customer is looking under the wrong light, a metameric color can look very off. And here's an example of why a specific light box is needed. As I walk through my plant, you can see the color shifting under different light sources. If someone was just grabbing this color off of the end of the oven, it could see this, where in actuality, it's matching. So if you control your print parameters, your heat, and view it correctly, will hit correct color on a multitude of fabrics. So control your ink coverage. More coverage equals better saturation equals more accurate color. Control your flash. Monitoring the flash and the palettes can help you keep the color consistent without shift. Control the cure. If you cure too hot, you may have the same issues with burnout and also lightness. And of course, the most important thing is correct light source. Work with your customer to pick a light source and make sure you're using corresponding color chips. 
Thank you again for joining us. We'll see you next week.